Alright guys, so today I'm going to be reacting to my first piece of music criticism. This was from um, December 20th, 2016. This was my review of Wildfire by Rachel Platt, and this is a blog post. I will be reading it. And yeah, I was really into this album at the time. I really liked it. So you'll get my actual thoughts on what I think of the album now in a different video. But for now, we're going to be reacting to this. I said... An explosive debut pop album from a talented artist, some mild language. I was also in the vein of, like, Common Sense Media, hey, this is not okay for your kids. So I was also kind of trying to be parenting because I, I wanted Common Sense Media to have more music reviews at the time, which is just really funny of, about me. Um, I said I gave it a 12-plus age rating, a 4 out of 5 star rating, and the genre for pop. Okay, so I really like... So... 4 out of 5 would be equivalent to me giving it an 8 out of 10 now, which you'll see, I will make a re-review of this album for this channel, don't worry. Um, I think I was being a little too nice to this album, or a little too generous, we'll get to that. So Stand By You, this is an explosive popular single from the album. Also, it wasn't technically her debut album, she was, I guess it was her debut, like, pop album, but she'd released albums before. It is an upbeat love song about not leaving your loved one's side and is very positive for relationships. It's mostly about not leaving someone's side even in hard times. The word hell is used in the chorus, but it is not used in a suggestive way. Only metaphorically, even if we can't find heaven, I'll walk through hell with you. I'm noticing, like, my writing itself is also just really clunky. Like, like, this was... How would have been? How would have been 2016? So I would have been, like, 14? Probably, like, 14 or 13. I don't remember. Yeah, it was probably 14. Yeah, because I were turned 15 in 2017, 2016, 2018, so yeah, I was 14. Okay, so, um, hey, hey, hallelujah. This pop rap song seems to be about someone not being ready for a relationship. You were begging me for more, I don't know how much I can take. I thought I was, don't, don't know how much you can take. I don't think I, I don't think I got the lyric right. I probably didn't have, didn't have as many means to, like, look up lyrics back then. Um, oh my god, Did, uh, there are a few references to physical intimacy, but not any explicit sexual content. One metaphorical reference to drinking, your heart must be dry. <laughs> I was, like, being mom over here. Again, I used to be very, um, very, like, cut off with music. I used to be very against certain things in music, and I was raised that way, so now I'm like, ha bring on the offensive shit, I don't care. Back then, okay. Okay, Speechless. Speechless is a nice love song. Never use the word nice in writing, Sarah. Don't do that. Um, about how a lover can make you speechless and quiet your demons. It is musically entertaining and mentions kissing but nothing too sexy. Beating Me Up. Beating Me Up is a, is a musically straightforward, lyrically, com lyrically complex breakup song. It's not that complex. I'd be better off without you. I wish my heart would stop beating me up. Fight so oh, here, here's, here's the big opinion shift from then to now. The true empowering gem on this album shines through the darkest times. It is about using your inner power and taking back your life. Yes, Hillary Clinton used this as a political campaign. Holy shit, did I not need to bring that up? But if you can put your political thoughts aside, it's an appropriate song for any cause. Okay, I think I like it better than Roar, I'll give it that, but um, this song is not that good. And also... Why did I have to bring up politics into this? Like, I don't know. I was, at that age, I was, like, really, like, campaigning. I was, like, can't, like, try, wanted to campaign for, like, Hillary Clinton. I was, like, into, like, Hillary Clinton. I don't fucking know what was wrong with me. I would still take her over Orange Cheeto bag, but I don't exactly like her or anything. I, I don't know why I was so, like... <laughs> yeah, anyway, um... Okay, Better Place. This is a sweet, sentimental love song that replaces Platten's typical percussive sound with a lone piano and accompanying string. Okay, that, that was a nice sentence. The song is about being happier with your love. It's a better place since you came along. Lone Ranger. This song is very upbeat and energetic, but sends mixed messages. The line, don't try to get too close, I'm just gonna leave because baby I'm a lone ranger, is used over and over again. In some ways, this destroys the idea that people are stronger together. No Clinton reference intended. Oh my god, why was I being political? That has been already illustrated in Stand By You, and it's also a positive anthem of independence. Like, first of all, don't say over and over in writing. Second of all, do not bring politics into this. And third of all, um, I think this song, um, I can relate to this a lot more now than Stand By You, because saying it sends mixed messages, haha. You don't know my heart. This one is just about another messed up relationship. It used, used relatively used relatively mainstream styling. I, you can't switch from 
present tense to past tense. You don't do that. Um, relatively um, mainstream styling and doesn't really bring anything new to the table. The word sucks is used. That's not even a swear word. What the fuck was wrong with me? <laughs> um, this was how, this was how, um, against everything I was, and I was also trying to be Common Sense Media, but more in depth, apparently. Angels in Chelsea. This song is about city life, so it mentions several harder issues in the city. In the city, a girl is probably drunk and people sing the blues for food. Now, that was a really long run-on sentence and it shouldn't have been. There are metaphorical angels here probably referring to people who help the poor. Overall, a nice song for older tweens. Astronauts. This is a sweet, upbeat love song about metaphorical astronauts. I was using the word metaphorical way too much. Platten says she will name a star after her love. That is not relevant. <laughs> Congratulations! Besides Fight Song, this pop ballad about heartbreak is arguably the best song on the album. I still agree it's the best song on the album, but Fight Song is nowhere close to the best song on the album. I still agree, Congratulations, it's the best song on the album. I still love this song. Um, okay. Pop ballad about heartbreak is arguably the best song on the album. It's about needing to break up with someone and is packed with emotion. <coughs> I'm sorry, I have no worries. <coughs> Congratulations, got what you wanted, your wedding now. Congratulations, you got your shot and you wore me down. The word damn is used once in the phrase to be so damn aggressive, but compared to other pop, so pop stars, is pretty mild. There are also metaphorical references to violence. I need to cut you out of my life. My ego's raw and bruised, etc. I don't... I was just being so prudish at this time. Superman. This gentle love song brings out many of the themes of Stand By You, but showcases more talented vocal depth. I said, so this album is much... Did never start a sentence with so. This album is much milder than anything by Katy Perry, Rihanna, or Lady Gaga, and is great for teens. Okay, it's true, it is milder than anything by Katy Perry, Rihanna, or Lady Gaga, but I was making it out like Katy Perry, Rihanna, and Lady Gaga were bad, were bad influences or something. Maybe if you're a young teenager, but, um, now that I'm 16 and I'm old enough, Lady Gaga, I love quite a few of her songs, I love quite a few Rihanna songs, um, Katy Perry is not my favorite artist, but I have nothing, like, I don't think she's a terrible person or anything. And, um, and, yeah, um, my, um, overall that was not great. There were some good parts that were written well, there were some parts that were written badly. Um, this is my first, my first music criticism piece of, and, um, the album as a whole, um, again, I'll get back to you on my real thoughts on that in a bit, but I do think this song just felt really, or, or the songs I highlighted, was Fight Song, and congratulations, congratulations, deservedly, Fight Song, not so much, and, um, I did not, need, I did not need to bring politics into it at all, that was unnecessary, um, and, um, I was just kind, kind of, um, I guess I was, like, still salty about Trump winning or something, I, I don't even know why I felt the need to bring it up, like, I guess I was just really salty. I mean, I still am. Like, I don't like Trump, but I'm not salty about, like, the whole Hillary Clinton thing anymore. I'm just like, oh, fuck, we're, de yeah, we're dealing with this. Let's let's just deal with it. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I just, and this song is, like, good. Uh, like, congratulations. I, I don't know. I just, I think, I think I, and I was also, like, really, when it came to music, I made it sound like Rihanna and Lady Gaga were, like, bad influence. Like, okay, Lady Gaga does wear very skimpy outfits, and, um, all that, and, um, and she makes songs about sex, like, even Poker Face is a song about sex, but it's about her bisexuality and the guy not see, it's, it's a complex song. At that age, I probably wouldn't have understood it, but now I do, and, and songs like that, are, and songs like Bad Romance, it doesn't exactly send a good message, but I know, I'm old enough, I know that I'm not supposed to be looking for that kind of relationship, like, I'm old enough to discern that, and Rihanna had a song about S&M, I don't like that song, I mean, you're allowed to like it, you're allowed to be into that, I'm saying that's too sexual even for me, she has a few songs that are too sexual even for me, but for the most part, I like Rihanna, and I like her songs, it's just kind of like, I don't know, and then, and then like, um, Kate Perry, I don't know why I picked on Katy Perry, of all people, like, <laughs> again, she has songs like, um, California Girls, I guess, um, E.T., um, I mean, unconditionally, I don't know, like, she's not, her songs are not that sexual or anything, I don't know what was wrong with me, <laughs> but anyway, guys, that was the video. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you later.
Bye.